I am using my old cell phone to record this. So anyway, I apologize in advance for the, for the bad quality. It doesn't record the best videos. It doesn't have the best sound either. So anyway, I just wanted to make mention of that and we'll go ahead and we'll uh, start uh, we'll start the video. Okay, I thought today we would go ahead and give a quick look to this uh, Sony uh, Micro Hi-Fi Component System CMT BX2OI. Uh, just a quick reminder, I'm using my old cell phone to, to do this video. And so the video will probably be blurry in spots and the audio will, audio probably won't be that great. So getting back to this, uh, I got this from a coworker at work. Um, he decided to donate this to my channel. And if you are watching, thank you very much for this. I appreciate it. Uh, he told me that this unit only, once it plays for a while, it starts acting funny. Uh, I haven't got that far with it yet. I've just plugged it in, hooked some speakers up to it just to see if it would play, and it does. Uh, I'll show you the speakers that we're going to use for this here in a second. It did not come with any speakers. It was just the unit itself. Uh, so it's a pretty neat little system. Uh... It's got all the controls up here on the top. Um, if this thing will stay focused, you can kind of read them here. I do not know what this does. This DSGX button, I'm going to have to research that. I don't know. So it's got more stuff over here. It's also got a uh, an iPod dock. And unfortunately for me, I'm not an iPhone, iPad kind of guy. I'm uh, Android. I've never owned an iPhone or iPad. Uh, but so anyway, so it's kind of neat. It's got the power on off button right here because it's kind of part of it. Uh, it does have a CD in there at the moment. That's what I last used it with when I just plugged it in to see if it would work. Um, so what we'll do is go ahead and we'll open up that. That's where the CD goes. Uh, it's a little dusty. I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and clean it. So so I'll play a CD here in a second. Uh, it says it's reading, and of course there's no desk in there. So let's give a quick look to the back here. Uh, Pretty bare bones back here. Um, it just has an AM antenna. It's got a FM coaxial antenna. And then it's just got the speaker connections. The interesting thing about this is it has a fan. Uh, not many little component systems like this have fans. Usually it's the higher end stuff. So it's pretty cool. Uh, and then here's the tag. Manufactured in April of 2009. So here are the speakers we're going to be using. These are GE's and they're stereo speakers. These probably date back to the 60's, probably mid, mid 60's I would say, maybe a little earlier. Uh, so these are the speakers we're gonna go ahead and, and hook to the to the uh, micro system here I took the back off of this one and what's cool is these are metal <laughs> so I took the back off of this so we just kind of get a quick peek at the speakers here uh, I'm not sure what size those are I would say five or six inch speakers probably and they're not very powerful obviously from the from the magnet there um, I did have these hooked up to the stereo just to test it. These actually don't sound that bad, but again, these aren't. I don't think these are, these are supposed to be high high performing speakers. Okay, so I have 
speakers hooked up. That's this is the one I just showed you the back of, and then here's the other one. I have a disc in there. I restarted playing it, and I have it on pause. So let's unpause it and give it a quick listen. Forgot to show that it actually has uh, jacks for headphones, and actually you can connect a uh, MP3 player to it or whatever audio in jack. There's the, there's the tuner, so it's got AM FM. Uh, the other neat thing this does is if you uh, connect a if you connect a iPod to it, this will actually tell you the sub the folders and the subfolders, and it'll actually play tell you what song. I don't know if that does the same thing for the audio in. I don't know. Uh, so. Anyway, that's just a quick look at this thing. Anyway, that is it for this video. I thank you for watching, and if, if you still like what I'm uh, what I'm putting out for content, go ahead and click that subscribe button. And as always, thank you for watching.